Okay, so I thought I'd do a video on how to respond to activities because I think there has been a little bit of confusion and I've, on my class especially, in other classes, I've seen that there are some people responding to activities and there are some children who are just posting straight into the journal. So when I log in, um, this is what it will look like. Obviously you might have some things here because you've already got some items in your journal. Any activities will be set to you in this section. And it's really important that you click add a response. This means that when your work is sent back, it will go directly to your teacher underneath the umbrella of that activity and that assignment, rather than just posting into the journal. So here's my maths for the day. So um, I might have a, a look through and I will add a response. Now, this teacher has set the work as a template, which means that I can actually annotate directly onto the work that has been set. So if I click add a response, I can actually respond and annotate on here. I can click down the pages either side um, and I can add my um, answer there. I might want to type my answer instead um, in so that um, I don't have to type it. And um, you can make it smaller if you want, you can change the colour. Um, you might want to voice record your answers. Now this would be really important for those of you that would like to explain your answer in a bit more detail, but maybe don't want to write it. So it'd be especially good in maths when you've got those reasoning questions to, to complete. You could say your explanation via voice re recording rather than having to type it. So you can annotate um, on on it or you can type, you can voice record, you can even add a photograph. So if you've got any other any other work, maybe working out that you've done um, for maths or some writing for English, you can click here and add in a photo. If you're stuck, you can always go back and click view instructions, which enables you to look back at what your teacher has asked you to do. Now when you're finished, you can click the green arrow and it, the green tick and it will get sent straight back to your teacher. If you still want to keep working on it, you haven't quite finished, you can click draft and it means it's just kind of saved there, it hasn't gone yet, you're, it, you're telling your teacher I, I'm still working on it. So I'm going to click that and it's going to go straight back to my teacher and obviously my teacher needs to um, approve it. Now it won't, you won't be able to have a look at it again unless you click on activities and you click class activities. Now when you click back to your class activities it will give you that um, task again to have a look at. You could also respond again if maybe you've changed your mind and you want to add something else. So there's that option. So that's there in class activities. I'm going to click back on activities and I'm going to do it again. So this time, the English one I set my class was a little bit different because I didn't give them that template that they could write directly on. But I'm still going to click add response. And this time I might choose, if I've done some writing, especially in English, I might choose this option and take a photograph of the writing I have done and that will get sent straight back to my teacher. I could upload it if you've maybe done a, a document and you've changed it into a PDF, you could then upload it through that section. You could upload a video of yourself, you could do um, a drawing here or a note, this enables you to type something, so maybe for those humanity lessons or, or RE or any English lessons that your teacher has said yes, you can do some typing. That's the option for you to do that. Um, I'm obviously now just going to do a quick squiggle. Um, again, you can type here, you can do a voice record, you can add a photograph. Um, and then again, I could look back at the instructions if I need to. I could start again. Um, and I'm going to send that straight back. So it's really important that you're clicking that response button when you are responding to the work that your teacher has given you. And again, if I've, I've lost it, I can click activities go back into class activities and see what I've done. I can watch it again, I can respond again if I fancy changing my answer. So I hope that makes things a bit clearer and do email me if you're stuck.